Dumb and Dumber 2 is the new movie starring Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Or is it Kim Kardashian and Kanye West? I don't know, but either way, them guys is dumb. <laughs> Dumb and Dumber 2 is the long-awaited follow-up to the 1994 comedy classic Dumb and Dumber. It is again directed by the Farley Brothers and starring Jim Carrey as Lloyd Christmas and Jeff Daniels as Harry Dunn. It was great seeing Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels back on screen. They have great chemistry together, they play off each other very well, and they, they really committed to their roles. Some of the lines, or I, I guess most of the lines, are kind of dumb, which makes sense, but they wouldn't have the impact if they were delivered by lesser actors. These guys really commit to the stupid jokes they're going for. Also, this movie has a lot of physical comedy in it, and these guys are really doing it. I gotta give them props for that. Neither of these guys are action stars, and it can't be as easy as it was 21 years ago. It's great to see Jim Carrey back doing comedy that doesn't involve magic or some fucking penguins. And it's great to see Jeff Daniels go from this to this. They also brought Rob Riggle in, who you know from pretty much every comedy in the last couple of years. Also added to the cast is Lori Holden, who you may know from being the most annoying character on the first couple of seasons of The Walking Dead. I think she's the only character I actually cheered for when she died, including the governor. Spoiler alert, kind of? I don't know. What is the time frame on spoilers? I think that was like two seasons ago, right? One thing I kind of noticed, which is a little weird, is that Lori Holden looks a bit like Lauren Holly from the original. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it's something I couldn't help but notice. First off, there's two good things I want to mention right away. First being the title. It's called Dumb and Dumber 2, 2 being spelled T-O, which is a great grammar joke. It also doesn't have a stupid subtitle like Dumb and Dumberer when Harry met Lloyd. Speaking of Dumb and Dumberer, this movie actually invalidates that. It's no longer considered canon, so if you watch that movie, and I don't really know why you would, it would be even more of a waste of your time because it doesn't actually count towards Dumb and Dumber or Dumb and Dumber 2. This movie picks up 20 years after the original. As you've probably seen from the trailers, Lloyd is in a mental institution from the events of the last movie. After Lloyd leaves, they go on another road trip. So it, it largely follows the same formula as the original. Um, they have to go on a road trip. There's a soap opera-esque subplot in the movie. Um, this time I actually think the subplot works better than the original, largely due to Rob Riggle. I th he's pretty damn funny in the movie. I don't really have a problem with a plot being very similar to the original. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But they did reuse some of the same jokes, which did kind of bother me. The most annoying sound in the world makes another appearance, and he must work out. There's a version of that in the movie. One good thing I have to mention is the special effects, which is something you probably wouldn't expect me to mention in a Dumb and Dumber movie. However, the makeup effects they did on Rob Riggle for the camouflage parts are fantastic. You don't even know he's there until he starts moving or steps out, and it really works well. Props to Rob Riggle and whoever painted him, because that must have taken a while and a lot of patience. I also have kind of mixed feelings about Honey Boo Boo's mother being in the movie. She just shows up kind of like a cameo. She plays a white trash mother in the movie, and it works because that's exactly what she is. And she's perfectly cast for it, but I don't like the idea of her becoming more famous. Unlike the original, the third act in this movie isn't very strong. In the original, a lot of the funny parts are actually in the third act. In this one, while there are some laughs to be had, it largely slows down once they get to their destination. I don't think this movie is as funny as the original, but the original has also had 21 years to kind of marinate, and it's really kind of unfair to compare them. I grew up, and a lot of people did, with Dumb and Dumber, so you're just kind of used to it. You're used to all the jokes, it is what it is, and you just, you, you're just you expecting that and you know it. So something new, it's, it's to try to compare it to something that's been established for that long in your life, it's, it's damn near impossible to do without being biased towards the original. Right now, again, I, I can't say that this is as funny as the original, but... After 21 years, maybe I'll think differently. So as it stands now, this movie is funny. There's a lot of laughs to be had. Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels are, again, great in their roles, and they have great chemistry together. And I think the subplot is actually stronger than the original, thanks mainly to Rob Riggle. The third act is weaker than the original film, and this movie does largely follow the same outline as the original. This movie is rated B. So what's your favorite comedy sequel? Mine is Clerks 2. Back in 2006, me, my then-girlfriend, now-wife, and my friend all took a road trip down to New Jersey. We saw the quick stop, and then we also got to see this movie a few months before it came out. So it holds a special place kind of in my heart for that reason. Besides that, it is very funny, and it does build upon the characters from the original, as well as having a lot of heart to it. So again, what is your favorite comedy sequel? Make your mark below in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. So 
Dumb and Dumber 2 starts Jenny McCarthy. One problem I have with the Blu-ray of Dumb and Dumber 2 is that if you look right there, it says includes exclusive alternate opening. It's not an alternate opening. It's a deleted scene from the established opening for the movie. Nothing is really different. It's extended. That is not alternate. Fucking liars. The movie's title is great. It's Dumb and Dumber 2, spelled T-O. For those of you who don't know, 2, when spelled T-O, indicates that you're going somewhere. Like, I go to the movies to see Dumb and Dumber 2. So, the fact that there's nothing after that is funny because it doesn't make any sense. When 2 is spelled T-O-O, that indicates also or as well. So, these two people are also dumb and dumber. If it was spelled T-W-O, or has that symbol... That would indicate it's the second in a series, which this movie is, but because they just spelled it T-O and didn't put a destination, it's funnier. Either fucking way. Them guys is dumb. <laughs>